Το Μωριά. And Nicole taxi, and Kilian, I opened the door to find, I put Kilian to taxi, and I closed the door, and I want to go inside, and Kilian go out. You're gonna get some message in your office saying, What did you imagine me? Hey, fuck. She said, I cry because you are here today. Hey, Edo, welcome to another edition of the No Chop This podcast. Um, do you know what, Copa? I, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm using the iPad, yeah, because I've got a problem with my laptop. So I don't know if you guys can hear me. So if you can hear me, just just put something on the screen that you can hear me. Anyone? Someone? Bundo. What do you mean, Bundo? I'm waiting for someone to tell me if you can hear me. As I said, I'm fucking about here with this bloody iPad. I haven't got my laptop or my MacBook. It's fucking about. Can you hear me? Or am I speaking to myself? Miyahara. Thank you, Jesus. Alhamdulillah. All right. Loads of comments already. So what I'm going to do, Gobelli, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to um, to say something. Well, I've put the link right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your nunna, all that kind of shit. As you can see, I'm fiddling about because, again, I'm on the fucking iPad. I, it's, it's a fucking mess, man. It's a fucking mess, honestly. Um, before people start jumping on, the first thing I will say, right, the first thing I will say is shout out to the fucking owner, shout out to Grigori, right? And as much as they've pissed me off in recent weeks, I've got to give love to them because they haven't bent over and let some fucking footballer, no disrespect to any other footballer, a mercenary um, bullying them around, right? That's the, the main thing I will say to start off with, yeah? Shout out to them. Because there are a lot of footballers these days, don't get me wrong, most of them are cool guys. Most of them are cool guys and, and they, they're professionals, they do their job, um, they take all the abuse from fans, whether it be on social media, in the computers, whatever, right? They're in the streets, they take shit, but they work hard. And a lot of them, I believe, earn their money, right? Then you have other footballers who have got so much ability, but they're just fucking dickheads, right? And yesterday, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was excited about seeing this footballer. He's a fantastic footballer. We've been saying it for God knows how long. He's a fucking fantastic footballer. He would have smashed the granny out of this fucking league. I'm telling you, he'd have got 15, 20 goals, no problems, right? But again, as I said before, do we want players like him? I said we need cunts in our team, but Jesus Christ, a player who negotiated with the club. Yeah, let's not forget, he negotiated with the club verbally agreed everything the club paid for him to come to cyprus they put him on his little whiz air or ryanair whichever fucking flight it was from wherever the fuck country he came from right they put him in a son of a hero he was swimming you know doing his little bitchy bitchy fussing in the fucking morning yeah went to yes bullos went to do his uh sign everything everything i assume was sorted right and you see all these stories coming out of get Gida, right and i'm gonna pause this for a second and talk about get Gida, right because they were the first outlet to, to come up with a story that there was a problem. But they said there was a problem with the terms. Well, sometimes journalists want to be the first to break things, but not the ones to come up with facts. And they didn't come up with facts, did they? Because the truth of the matter is, as the statement showed later on this evening, it was the player who was at fault. He didn't want to take a fucking medical. Yeah. So there you go. You don't have to be the first to break things, Gorbelia. You don't have to be the first, but try and be accurate with your stories. I'm going to get, I've got three people waiting up. Rigori, Stefano and Petro. I'm going to get you all guys at once. And I'm going to try to sort out this audio problem that I've got. So please bear with me. Um, let's have a look. Add him. Add him and add him. Oh, and add him as well. Where is he? Petro, Petro, where's Rigori? Boys, I yes, cannot see. Hmm. Ah, I can. I can hear Stefano. 
Grigori. He's in his Puna room again. He's got some. He's problems. muted. He's muted. Purple rain, purple rain. No? Pedro, are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm okay. Mm, okay. And Grigori is he's still in his purple room. Um, Dark he, room. He's doing he's, voodoo he's, for the fucking idiot that left. I don't know if he's in, in a nightclub or if he's in a brothel or if he's... W- w- Re, can you hear us? Oh, he's gone. Fuck's sake. So, right, come on, Pedro, I'll let you begin, my friend. Okay, well, we have uh, already e- exchanged uh, a conversation. One you minute, know, one minute. Hold, that thought, hold that thought. Okay. Is there any feedback? To everyone watching, is there feedback? Is there an echo? I just want to know because I don't have my earbuds and I'm using the speed cut on this. So I don't want people to... To, no, to no, no, no. You're, you're a, a little bit actually uh, little trouble, but it's okay. Okay, I'm going to mute myself, so I'll let you talk. Okay. Yes, what are you going unmute. Hey, guys. Yes, what are you going to do? Hey, guys. Yes, what are you going to do? Yes, what are you going to do? Yes, what are you going to do? Είμαστε. Σωστό, βέβαια. Another one shitty period. Miserables. <laughs> και τελικά ούλα έβγαν καλά. Ε, το, σήμερα όμως είναι διαφορετικό, φίλε μου. Καείς, ακούτε να σας πω, επειδή εγώ ένα πρέαυκο δουλευκό πρωί, απλά ήθελα να πω την άποψη μου. Ξέρετε ότι πάντα προσπαθώ θεωρώ λίγο νηρέμα τα πράγματα. Ε, εσπάσα που μπαίνω και βάζω και έτσι μεταγράφες, ούλοι κάνουν μεταγράφες, ε, οπωσδήποτε θέλουμε είναι επιθετικό, αλλά προσπαθώ θετικά, είδα όλα τα φιλικά της ομάδας, καταρχάς η ομάδα αισθημένη πίσω, πολλά καλή αμυντική λειτουργία, είναι έτοιμη, θέλει δυο τρεις παίχτες που να μπουν όλο ίσιο να αλλάξουν ποιότητα την ομάδα. Ε, Συνόν που πιστεύω είναι ότι ακόμα κυνηγούν πρώτε περιπτώσει, αν κρίνεις που είναι περιπτώσει του ζε, και που τα λεφτά που τα διαδεθειμένοι να δωγούν και εννοείται ότι τους οι πρώτες περιπτώσεις θα κάτσω στο τραπεζί να συζητήσουν μαζί σου τον Ιούνι και τον Ιούλι σε η τελευταία τους λύση οπότε ίσως και γι' αυτό καθυστερούμε τόσο εν ενώ ζε με τον μπάτζετ που εδιούσαμε για το ζε βρίσκουμε σίλιους ζε καλύτερα που είναι κλεισάμε μια ticking bomb μες τα αποδητήρια μα. Και πραγματικά εμπιστεύω με τους ανθρώπους που ντιάμε. Όσες φορές τους αφισβητήσαμε, ευκα... όσες φορές τους αφισβητήσαμε, ευκαλά μας χαζούς. Θυμάστε τι λαλούσαμε για τον Λένον. Πάλι ήδη είμασταν. Ξέρουν καλύτερα από μας. Listen, the, the one thing I will say there is, yes, and, and Pedro, we had this conversation earlier. We did the podcast yesterday and we were, we were saying, welcome, welcome, welcome. And obviously we got hands on, um, you know, it's about the, the player, about the club, etc. And we were very excited about it. And what I would say pissed me off, but disappointed me a little bit was the club did the whole welcome. And I know what you're going to say, Pedro, you know, they're wel- welcoming him to Cyprus, you know, to get on the plane. To, but why would you do that? Why, why would you? I've, I've never seen any club in the world, and I've been doing social media for years. I have never seen any club say, we're welcoming this player because he's got on a plane to come and visit us. It doesn't make any sense. So for me, it's premature ejaculation. That's what it is. They thought he was going to come. It, okay. Right, With you? Not. Well, well I, I didn't, believe me. Um, they <laughs> thought he was going to arrive at the club and sign, and it didn't happen. And I think that's what most fans are pissed off about because there's, there was a big song and dance made about it. And yes, granted, all you're going to say, they didn't say that he's definitely going to join. They said that they've agreed preliminary talks, or whatever the, the agreement was. But to do that before he's holding the flag or the fanella or signing the, the contract, I think they fucked up a little bit. But on the flip side, they've covered their backs at the same time. You want me to go on? Okay, fair enough. Well, yeah, like you said, uh, Emilisa Membrin, Arkeda, 
για να μιλικρινείς έμεινα όξυπνος Γρηγόρη μου γιατί που η ώρα 8 το πρωί είναι μπήκα σπίτι η ώρα 10.30 τη νύχτα για να καταλάβεις που η ώρα 8 το πρωί μου δουλειά ώρα 10.30 τη νύχτα αλλά έμεινα επειδή είπε μου και ο Στέλος ότι ήταν να podcast και ήθελα να δω να μου να πει δεν το ξέρα ότι ήταν να, να φκούμε αλλά έμπαιρα και καλύτερα αρέσκει μου ο Στεφωνή μου έτσι για μένα εδώ ο Κουκουάν για μένα ο Μόρφος ε, το λοιπόν ε, εγώ διαφώνησα με το, με το Στέλ που μου είπε ότι είχε πρόβλημα με την ομονία, να, να το πούμε, έτσι πρόβλημα. Οι φίλοι συζητούν μεταξύ τους για να, γιατί μπορεί ο ένας να τα βλέπει λίγο διαφορετικά από τον άλλον και να, να, να βγει η σωστή άποψη στο τέλος. Ε, έχει, το, έχει και τα δίκαια το Στέλ, σίγουρα. Ε, πιστεύω έχω και εγώ τα δίκαια μου. Εγώ δεν είμαι απογοητευμένο που, που την κατάσταση όπως ευχήκε. Εφόμασταν τον παιχτή, ξέραμε ότι είναι παιδός. Ξέραμε ότι έχει παιδάραν πάνω του. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. Uh, we didn't expect it this way. Um, που την άλλη, να uh, ακούσα... Εγώ... Ε, να, πω, να πω κάτι και να, να ξεδιμάσω και λιόν, δεν πειραζεί, ξέρετε με. Να πας τα ανάθεμα να πάει, καλύτερα από την υπογράψη των συμβολίων. Για μένα, εγώ δεν αξίζει να συζητήσω τώρα για το ζε. Γιατί ο ζε έφυγε. Ας τον να πάει όπου στον πιπ θέλει να πάει. Εντάξει, που έφυγε και όπου είναι Κύπρο μπιλέ. Ξέρω και πράγματα που γίνονται στο αεροδρόμιο. Ευαυτίσαν τον κανονικά έτσι. Είπαν το κάποια ωραία γαλλικά, ωραία ομονία της τσάμες στο αεροδρόμιο. Που τον ήβρασε. Να τα πω τους τελείστερα. Έμαθα τα ύστερα που είχε τα σπίτι. Έλος πάντο. Εγώ το που έχω να πω είναι ότι είσαι φορό μου φίλο μου γλυόρι. Και θέλω να... Να πω τους ομονιάτες, τους φίλους μου να καταλάβουν ένα πράγμα. Το ότι είχαμε υπογράψει έναν προσύφωνο με το ΖΕ και ήταν να κλείσει η συμφωνία και υποτίθεται η Βραντα, όχι υποτίθεται η Βραντα, και ήταν και Κύπρο και το το δεύτερο, σημαίνει ότι ο ΖΕ είναι ο μόνος παίχτης με τον οποίο συζητούσε η ομόνια. Αλλοί μόνο να πιστέψω ότι ο ΖΕ ήταν ο ένα και ο μοναδικό παίχτη ο οποίος σε συζήτα με την ομόνια. Δεν υπάρχει έτσι περίπτωση ούτε μία στο εκατομμύριο. Εμιλούσαν τουλάχιστον με τρεις ή τέσσερις παίχτες. Μπορεί κάποιος που τους άλλους παίχτες να είναι και καλύτερος που το ζε. Δεν το ξέρουμε το πράγμα. Μπορεί να στο ίδιο επίπεδο με το ζε. Μπορεί να είναι λίγο πιο κάτω. Δεν ξέρουμε. Αλλά δεν σημαίνει ότι ο επόμενο παίχτης που είναι αρτή, γιατί είναι αρτή, και που τη στιγμή που έγινε το, το ναυάγιο, εγώ πιστεύω ότι ο παίχτης που θα έρθει όχι μόνο να πιάει τα ίδια αν όχι και παραπάνω λεφτά, πιστεύω θα είναι και καλύτερος. Φίλε, yesterday, I was... Okay, well, I'm just going to try to use the term correctly before I get someone into trouble, but I was under the understanding that we were looking for a left back and the number 10. That's it. Now, I didn't know if that included Zé or excluded him. So if we'd signed him, then definitely a, a 10 or a, or a left back. Or if we didn't sign him, it's a player in his role, a 10 and a left back. Do you know what I mean? So that changes the yeah. whole scope of things, right? But the other thing I will say, right? And again, you and I had this discussion earlier, and I'm going to bring this to, to everyone watching and, and Stefan and, and Grigori, right? There's no more excuses. They can't say we haven't got money because let's get it right. If the reports were correct and we're using this as as our blueprint, right? Half a million was the transfer fee, allegedly. 300,000 a year for the player salary, net, all of this is net, over three years. Yeah, 300,000 times three is 900,000. The player was going to earn 900,000 euros. 500,000 for the fee, so that's 1.4 million spread over three years. Now, it sounds like a lot of money, but if you want to talk about amortization, what they do to balance the books or to keep into financial fair play, they spread it over the length of the contract. So 1.4 million spread over three years, which is what? 450K a year. So that's how they put it in the books. 450K a year for this player, including transfer fee, salary and obviously accommodation now they cannot turn around and say to us we only want loans and free transfers yeah 
when they were willing to to break the club fee, the record fee, and for a fucking salary for this one player who was a fucking grenade. Yeah. So the next player that cut that they that they look for, they can maybe they can bring in two players with that money. But I don't want to hear Denichumen left out. We've got Kreos, we've got this and that, because you were willing to spend close to a million and a half on one player. Come on, man. Come on. We're not dickheads, yeah? Brother, just a quick question. He must have pricked your chronia or the Hellam Missonega Domirio Yanab Jamendona Gindola. Eh, Percy, posa for Lufna. Dax, I'm going to suppose a theorodi by Livia for Etica, Iberiptosia Gindola, the Mena Center Bagasma. Humbola, Paravano potential Napoli, whom Jobola left us to so that he was the attackers as in Paravano left Anomizo. Emil Nodol Lufner, Sure and Madonna Celastimovada, true leader, La Nomizo Diaforet, Gondo Valu, Tungo Chevet. One minute, one minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Zez's salary was 47 a month. That's 560,000 a year. We were going to pay 1.5 million over three years. 1.5 million to pay him plus the 500,000 transfer fee, which is 2 million. Is, is that what, what, what the story is? 47k a month. The highest paid player in... Uh, which other player in Cyprus gets half a million? Who? Uh, what other oh, what? Penind? Not even him. Who did you know? The in the water, ne, ne. Right. So he'd have been the highest paid player in Cyprus, yeah? And that's your Andreas or Dimitri and Andre Cosmas? No, 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 no. But anyway, sorry, carry on what you were saying. I'm not sure. Selena Rodis, look at it, I bet. Yeah. Thoropol Lusomonia, the Simra, La Lunoti, Prokitas, Pumeya, Zilin, Ya, and the Evangel Madis Mombu, the Vigisi. Εν τόσο λάθος που τη διοίκηση, δηλαδή η διοίκηση είχε στα σέρκα της έναν προσύφωνο ο παίχτης ήρθε εν Κύπρο για να τελειώσει με τα γραφή και έχει μια εβδομάδα να έκαμε μας τα τούμπανα μες στο Instagram ότι έρχομαι, θέλω σα... Δηλαδή, εν να ήταν αστείον η διοίκηση να μην έφτιανε να πει τίποτε που τη στιγμή που λέει γράφαν το, λέει ξέραν το και να μην ανακαούν με τα γραφή ε, Ήταν δεδομένο, είχαν προσύφωνο στα σέρκα τους τι το λάθος έκαμε η διοίκηση, γιατί τους φτάζουμε. Θέλεις την άποψη που ρε Γρηγόρη, για την διοίκηση. Ναι, εννοείται, εννοείται, εννοείται. Δεν έκαμε κανέναν απολύτως λάθος. Συμφωνώ. Κανένα. Και υποστηρίζω ότι, να πω και κάτι στους φίλους τους ομονιάτες. Ναι, περιμέναμε μεταγραφή. Δεν να τους πω κάτι. Ε, ε, περιμέναμε πως ήταν να κάνουν μια μεταγραφή τώρα η οποία αναβάγησε και ήταν στο ποσό των 1,4 εκατομμυρίων νομίζετε ένας παίχτης ο οποίος έχει τούτη την αξία όποιος δίποτε παίχτης εμίλω για συγκεκριμένο ένας παίχτης που έχει τούτη την συγκεκριμένη αξία εν έχει άλλες ομάδες να συζητήσουν μαζί του μόνο με την ομονία να συζητήσει όχι, να συζητήσουμε με άλλες τις ομάδες. Γι' αυτόν και εν τον έπιασε ακόμα η ομόνια των παιχτήν των 1,4 εκατομμύριο. Πού ξέρετε, μπορεί σε δύο μέρες να σας δείξουν παιχτή και να είναι 1,5 εκατομμύριο. Μπορεί να είναι 1,2, μπορεί να είναι 1,3, μπορεί να είναι ένα. Δεν σημαίνει ότι έχει πιο λίγη αξία ο παιχτής. Οι παιχτές που έχουν αξία ακόμα δεν υπογράψαν στις καινούργιες τους ομάδες που να πάσει. Γυρεύκουν ότι μπορούν να πιάνουν καλύτερο, γιατί ξέρουν ότι αξίζουν το. Τώρα, αν εμείς βρούμε έναν μπάλα το γάρο, δεν σημαίνει ότι είναι λίγα ούρκα. Και στη διοίκηση μας, εγώ δεν βρίσκω κανένα λάθος, σύμφωνα με τούτο που έγινε. Σύμφωνα πολύ. Επίσης, να πω ότι η Adverb, η, ομάδα, η πρώην ομάδα του Βεχτή, επίσης βρίσκεται σε πάρα, πάρα πολλά δύσκολη θέση. Δεν νομίζω η Adverb να ήθελε να γίνει τούτο το πράγμα, γιατί φαίνεται ότι έτσι είναι κακή ομάδα, κακή, σε καταλάβετε να μην νομίζω, κακή ομάδα, και σίγουρα η ΑΤΦΕΠ δεν έχει σχέση με την όλη υπόθεση. Αντιθέτως, 
βρίσκεται σε παραπάνω δυσκολίε λόγω την κίνηση του του δουλειάρου. Γκάις μου, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ναι. Απλά να πρέπει να φκώ. Χαρήκα που σας είδα. Ήθελα να κάνω έτσι μενσόν και τρία points. Ε, να κάτσω, θα ακούσω. Απλά πρέπει να φκώ. Καληνύχτα. Και ναι. trust the process. Πάει τα λίγη. Άντε ρε, have a good night. Got some comments here, boys. Got some comments. I'll, I'll leave the floor to you. Because this is your show as well, man. Let's go. There's one here. Πώς θα προλάβουν, how, how, προλαβέν. how. Γιατί ποιος είπε ο διοπαίχτης που έρθει τώρα ότι ήδη έκαμε προετοιμασία με την ομάδα που είναι και δεν είναι έτοιμος να μπει να παίξει. Δεν ξέρω να πιέ, ε, τώρα, αν, μου, αν, αν πάνε αύριο και φέρουν μου έναν ο οποίος ήταν τραυματίας και είχε έξι μήνες να παίξει και πονεί τα πόθια του και τα δάχτυλα του και την κελέν του και το φτύν του, ναι, να τους υφτίσω. Έφα mm. κάμουν έτσι πράγμα. Γιατί τούτος, είναι έτοιμος να μπει αύριο να παίξει, αν ήθελε να βάλει μέσα, ήταν. Πού ξέρεις ότι ο επόμενος που να βρουν είναι ο ίδιος και μπορεί να το βάλουν μέσα στο ύπεδο και να σου βγάλει 90 λεπτό. Yeah, right. but, but the thing is, for him not to want to take a medical, it tells me he's hiding something, man. It tells me he's hiding something. I think it was just excuses, man. I think it yeah. was just excuses because of money. Well, look, put this, this is how I understand things work because, you know, from, from, what, from my experience, what normally happens is you've got two clubs, right? One, wants to, one has a player, another, the other team wants to sign them, right? What normally happens is the clubs have a conversation and one gets permission to talk to the player from the other. Once the permission is there, the club can talk to the player, which is what we did. Yeah, we spoke to the player. We had a verbal agreement with him and they arranged, right, you're going to come to Cyprus. We'll arrange for your flight, accommodation, whatever it is. Right. In between. The no, sorry. Of- let me let me correct you. It wasn't just verbal. It was preconditioned signs. Yeah. So the, there's things on paper signed as a precondition so that everyone is covered, our team, their team, and the player. Right. So it so wasn't the, just words in the air. Right. So the, the, these obviously feel that, I mean, I'm guessing they probably got a mandate, which is, which is a permission slip kind of thing to speak. Anyway, so in between the time that they've sent the documents or whatever and arranged for him to come to Cyprus, So in between the time they've done all of that and him come to Cyprus, obviously another club or maybe two clubs already spoken to Anto. They said, yeah, talk to him as well. And they've done the same. So he's probably thinking, let me go to Cyprus, see what they have to say, because I've been given a better offer elsewhere. But if I can, you know, say to him, oh, I'm being offered this amount. But as you said, the, everything was agreed from a financial standpoint. Everything was agreed there. Yes. So he's basically turned around and says, oh, I don't really want the medical. Why has he done that? Either he's hiding something, or as you said, he's been given an offer elsewhere and he's just wasting our time. Or he's using us as leverage, he's using us as leverage to get a better deal elsewhere, which isn't That's uncommon. Something. So in, the, in that respect, I don't blame the player in that respect. It's a shit-ass thing to do, but I don't blame the player in that respect because if you can get a better off, offer elsewhere by using another club, do it. A lot of clubs do it. A lot of players do it, right? But for the fact that he's wasted our time... And as I said before, it's resilient the way that the club went about with the whole social media stuff. But that, that's by the by. That's by the by. And even us, we fell, we fell foul to that. We got excited and whatever. It is what it is. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy to keep that fucking video there because if, if people click on it and type in the comments, it means we get a view. So thank you, everyone, that's been putting comments and bumping up the views. I'm getting ad, ad revenue from that. But anyway, carry on. I've got another... I've got loads of comments, right? There's loads of comments. Here's another one. Which is exactly what I said. Oh, this is FTA. FTA is this. The social media team of FTA is just a step in the same time. It's not a step in the same time. Who gave me the authorization to do it? Who gave me the authorization to do it? Exactly. 
it's like I said, for me, it's bizarre that you're you're welcoming a player to the country, not to the club. Why would you do that? It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense. He hasn't sense. signed anything yet. It's just said, I'm coming. The guy hasn't signed and you make an announcement video. Why? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It was a nice video, don't get me wrong. It was a nice video. It was good. Wrong was timing. Very, I was impressed with yeah. it. Yeah. Very impressed. Yeah, me too. I was gassed. Wrong but, timing. But anyway, anyway. Uh, I don't. I don't agree with that. I'm a you, you know it still. I know. I know. And you're well within to well within your rights. Have your your, your opinions on it, bro? Honestly, I've, yeah. I've got no problem. This is why we're having this covenda. This is why we're having this discussion. You know. Φίλε μου, Γιάννη, εγώ πιστεύω να πιάμε τρεις παίχτες. Έχει πολύ καιρό που το λάλλω στο podcast ότι η Ομόνια να πιάει ακόμα τρεις παίχτες. Έχει τουλάχιστον δυο μήνες που το λάλλω ότι η Ομόνια να πιάει τρεις παίχτες. Τι εννοώ πιάει. Καλησπέρα, φίλε Κωνσταντίνο. You got another one here for you. Πέτρο, you're taking over the show, man. Δεν έχει πρόβλημα. Στέλ, put the comment back on, please. Which one? The, the previous comment that is... This uh, one. Peter. Τι όντω ρα. Ναι, φίλε μου. Τόσο λάθος. Λόν. Τι όν. Είναι αυτό το που είσαι μιλήσει για αυτό. Εν ήξερα αν είναι για το τον πολλαλή ο φίλος, έβαλε και άλλα κομμέντ. Ω. Anyway, we'll just put some Thanks. Uh, sorry, I feel like I'm going to have to get what he's saying. That one, that comment. I get what he's trying mm. to say. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But listen, the, the way I see it, it's like, um, you know, I, I'm very disappointed that everything hasn't been done or everything wasn't done before Poland. Because in an ideal world, which we don't live in, obviously, Every, all the metagrafes would have been done and then it would have been pre-season. The players would have been able to gel and that's it. I, I don't know why it's taking so long in terms of scouting uh, uh, perspective, but I know that these deals take time to, to be done. They take time. Um, Stead, be, huh? sorry to cut you off. Do you think that one of the main reasons why we're struggling in the transfer window is because we don't have a... Well, yeah. this, this is the thing. A, a few, a couple of months ago, I was saying, well, it shouldn't really make a difference because if you know, if you you've got someone looking at the statistics, because as far as I'm aware, the, there's a statistical analysis done on on players for various positions, be it passing, be it kilometers run, be it sprints, you name it. Everything is analytics and statistics these days. And it's not just us that do it. Brentford are very good at it. Other clubs are doing it, right? Yeah. So I, you're looking for the right right place. You've got Scout, all these different types of uh, software that enables you to, to find that information. But then you've got to talk to the player. You've got to talk to the club. You've got to talk to the agent. Some players have got two or three people representing them. Or money you get hundreds of fucking CVs sent across. And I get it myself. I get WhatsApp messages from random people saying, I've got a player for this position. Can you find them a club? I'm like, I look at the CV. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So if you're getting hundreds of CVs sent your way, then obviously you're going to be suffering through every single one of them and seeing if they're any good or whatever. And it doesn't help that you see WhatsApp conversations being leaked as well. You know, from you know, last season, I saw a WhatsApp from Omonia saying a whole list of positions. Like, who the fuck is... How is this happening? Is there, is there someone at the club sending WhatsApps all over the world saying, I need this player to this and that agent? How is this happening? How, how and why is this happening? You know? But anyway, it, it is what it is. So, you know, these deals take time to be done. But I'm just... I, I don't believe you need a sporting director. But I, I also believe if there's someone at the top, they need to know football. They need to understand the game. Yeah. Fortunately, Nico is there. Nico knows the game inside and out, but he can't do everything himself. But when you, if you've got people above him that are saying, oh, we shouldn't get this one because of how much they cost, and there isn't, you know, they would have been signed at 25 years old and they would have been the potential to sell him on to make more money out of it, yeah? You're buying him for half a million. All right, let's just say you're giving him a million for, for his wages. 
you can mm. sell him for three in the future. Yeah. We're not, if we're going to spend big money on a player, it's not going to be on a 30 year old or a 31 year old or a 32 year old. The player's going, to, the player's going to be between the ages of 23 and maybe 28. Yeah. And that way you can, you can have them for a couple of years, build them up. If they do well in Europe, which I'm hoping they do, then you can sell them on. But again, you're, you're taking a risk signing players like that for this league anyway. Εγώ θέλω να. Ε, sorry, Στέο. Πέμπω. Εγώ θέλω να ρωτήσω του φίλου που μα βλέπουν τώρα να μα γράψω. Εάν σε τρει μέρε. Έτσι, ομόνια. Ε, σα βίτσο με να γίνω μεταγραφέ. Αν με γίνω μεταγραφέ, good luck να, πάμε, να πηγαίνουμε δεύτερο γκρουπ. Mm. Ε, εάν έτσι, ομόνια μέσα στι επόμενε τρει-τέσσερι μέρε, ρε βεθιά. Και φέρει σα δύο παίχτε του, του ενό εκατομμύριου. Πεχταρούσκια. Τι είναι να πείτε για τη διοίκηση. Θέλω να μας πούν οι φίλοι που μας βλέπουν. Yeah. Well, I, I think um, most fans are pissed off with the whole situation because they, he's a big name and it would have made a massive difference to the league. Because he would, as I said, he would have been phenomenal in this league. But at the same time, we need to realize that You know, the way that he's behaved today, the, we, we knew what he was going to be like. You know, like I said, Hans was on yesterday telling us about him. I, I, I found out about him. All you need to do is do a Twitter search on the fucking guy and you see a whole heap of articles about his misdemeanors. So do, did we really want a, a, a player like that? It's difficult to say. He could have come to the club. Lennon might have sought him out. You never know. Another word that. For example, if buts and maybes, if but if buts and maybes, you know. But as I said before, there is no excuse now not to spend money because they were willing to fucking spend a whole heap of money on the guy. That's all I have to say on the matter. Everyone is strengthening. That's the thing. Everyone around you is strengthening. You have to strengthen a bit more to get more bodies into the squad. To get a lot better compared to last season. We saw how we were playing last season towards the end with Lennon. There were games we were shit. We were games we were good. We were trying to find a fluid our system and all this stuff. Lennon was picking a few players here and there. Players left. Now we have to strengthen. We brought in already four players, but we need to bring more and better players and into another four positions. So, now we are in August, on the 1st of August, and now we want to be respected to do what we want. We are going to be able to do what we want. We are going to be able So we have... Is it... We have to hurry a lot more because the time is going to run out. As for me, the Brahmin is going to be the left test of me. Do that. So, what do you think about the test of my graphics? And I'm going to make my graphics. Yeah. The left test philosophy is that you have to do it for a long time. I'm going to do it for a long time. I'm going to do it for a long time. I'm going to do it Πώ γίνεται να μου λέει ότι έχει δύο χρόνια κάνουμε χάγια προγρα... προγραμματισμού. Πριν ένα χρόνο και στο προάθλημα. Φέτο, ναι, ε, είχαμε πολλά λάθη. Υποτίθεται, υποτίθεται ότι προσέξαν τα λάθη του. Ε, Ακέψε η μεταγραφική περίοδο τη ομάδα καλά. Ακέψε καλά. Έφεραμε τέσσερι παίχτε. Τώρα, την απόψη μου για τους τέσσερις παίχτες, έχω την αλλά δεν θα την πω. Ε, που για μέσα και πέρα, υποτίθεται να ήρθαν χτες ο πέμπτος, ο γάδαρος τους που ήρθε. Οκ, okay, έφυγε και έχει ένα μήνα που συζητούν μαζί του. Ε, να σου πω ότι είναι παραπάνω από ένα μήνα που συζητούν μαζί του. Και δεν είναι μόνο με τον που συζητούσα. Επομένως, μπορεί ήδη η εναλλακτική λύση, ο αντικαταστάτης του, ήδη, να, ήδη σήμερα να μιλούσα μαζί του. Και ύστερα από δύο μέρες να είσαι σαν λομπέχτη. Ε, τι αν τον είχα σήμερα και ήταν στην πισίνα να χτες τη λάμνακα και κάνουν τα ωραία του, τι αν έχω έναν παίχτη με νουν, ύστερα από δύο μέρες. Για μένα, δεν παίζει διαφορά. Και επαναλαμβάνω, δεν σημαίνει ότι ο παίχτης που είναι να έρθει, ότι δεν μπορεί να μπει μέσα και να παίξει μάπα. Άρα να... Uh, I, I don't know anymore, to be honest. Uh, these, I'm not, I'm not letting this get to me. I'm, the only reason why I'm disappointed is because we've missed out on a fantastic footballer. 
But on the flip side, do you want another Balotelli? Do you want another sí, player? Exactly. No, 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 Μπαλτέλη είναι άλλο επίπεδο. 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 Join us, and after a few months, he got pissed off, and then he strolls into training with an Upper Well shirt, which is what he did with with Antwerp, wearing an Anderlecht shirt in training. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, see, this is this is it. Like again, you know, I said yesterday, I'm excited to see this player, but given his antics today, is it is it really a loss for us in the grand scheme of things? You know, as I said, I'm glad they put their foot down. I'm glad they put their foot down and they say, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah, oh, there's the plane. There's Buffer. They sent him to Buffer, not Lanaka. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. But, Steph, do you think at the same time he would have flopped as well? Another team no, won. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think he would have. I don't think he would have. Lua, Lua. I, don't, I honestly believe, and people are going to cap this and fucking run it back to me at the, at the end of the season because that's how it goes, but I don't yeah. think any of our signings are going to flop. I really don't. Really? People, people talking to me about Barker and saying, oh, he's not... Trust me, Barker will come good. But I've seen glimpses of him in, in this preseason. Yeah. You know, he's very positive. I, well. I think Bruno yeah. will be brilliant. Matthews will be solid. Um, so, I don't... Milo did. Milo... Oh, fucking hell, man. Like, it's been our best signing so far. Yeah, that's a lot, right? I'm going to feel like on Bruno is going to be a good thing. Well, look, I, I was speaking a, a, a friend and he he played against Militich and he said he's absolutely solid he's absolutely solid mm. so you know I'm I'm glad that that's that's looking good so far so you know here's one for you Pedro they're picking on you now you got them started but now you're the man to say what about the what the Fenio Badi και ο Παδί εν γίνει που έχουν καμία σχέση με την όλη υπόθεση. Καμία να πω λίγο, κανένα φταίξιμο, για όνομα του Θεού. Είπα εγώ ποτέ ότι φταίνει ο Παδί για τον τον άχρηστο. Έγινε. Δεν φταίμε. Φταίμε εμείς. Δεκαμεν τα πούτους. Άξιλ, Φέδο. Ε, άξιλ. Του τον που ότι δεν βρίσκω φταίξιμο στο σωμάτιο για την κατάσταση του την που έγινε. Αλλά δεν είπα ποτέ ότι φταίνει ο Παδί. Εγώ απλά είπα η ο Παδί να είναι σίγουρη ότι θέλω να πιστεύω ότι υπάρχει εναλλακτική. Ναι. 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 He didn't want to take the medical because number one, he's hiding something. Number two, maybe he's completely unfit because he hasn't really played much football lately, has he? Um, and some players take a while to to get settled into a system, to get settled into training, and um, perhaps because they do various tests. They do very. I mean, as you guys have seen from the photographs, you know. They test their lungs, they test their heart, they test their, their, their sprint, their jumping, everything. They take a lot of things into consideration, you know? Maybe, and, and again, look, I've had, I've had the, the jabs, you know, the, what, what do you call it? Yeah, I've had the COVID jabs. Maybe he's taken the jabs and maybe he's had a, an effect. You don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just guessing here. I'm, you know, it's not like fact. Could he, could he be like... Doping or something like that? Uh, possibly. You, you never know. As I said, something yeah. for a player not to want a medical. All right, people say that he's just using that as, as an excuse. And it, it is possible. But for him not to want to take a medical, it's a weird one for me. And if he's going to, to Ferenc Varos, right, and he takes a medical with him and he passes, all right, you could say that that's a cuntish thing for him to do to us. But what if he goes out there and he behaves the same way 
Hmm. I don't think, listen, Ferenc Varos are a very professional team, very professional. And f- to, to, for them to know what he's done, because they do know, because I've, I've spoken to someone that works at the club about what's happened. So um, they do know now about his behaviour. So let's see how that pans out. Maybe he's yeah. trying to do to them as he's done to us. Maybe he wants to go to the night goes. Maybe um, Jovanovic wants. I don't know. I don't know. Eva, after all this fuckery, who would want to take him with this whole roundabout? Well, th- I'll be honest. I wouldn't want to. Th- this yeah. is it. You know, it, and, and the thing is, these days, not so much maybe four or five years ago, but these days, images a lot for footballers. Images a lot. And clubs won't take a player who behaves a certain way. They've obviously seen his track record. I've, I've, got, I've got a lot of the information in front of me. I'll read out to you. He punched yeah. a teammate in training on the, the 17th of March, 2019. In the 29th of August, 2019, he got sent off against Arsene Altmar and that ended up his team getting knocked out of Europe. Um, he nice. got his shirt he got his shirt and showed it in front of the fans as if to say some kind of big man. He got into fighting training in August 2019. Um, he, he punched the vice captain. Um, in January 2020, he put some shit on social media about another club. Uh, he didn't show up to training in uh, July, uh, in June 2020 because he had some shit done to his hair. Um, let's have a look. He turned up in October. He went to go watch a rival club play. Um, and then he turned up in a fucking Anderlecht shirt, Vincent Company's fucking shirt. Oh, like the guy oh, is a fucking man. loose cannon. And this is what I'm saying, like, you know... It's we dodged to, the bullet. Well, look, it's great to have a character. Joe, don't get me wrong, it's, he's hilarious. I find him hilarious for the, mm. the shit he does. The shit but, yeah. You know, when it doesn't happen to you, it's great. You know, it's like mm. seeing someone up in the street and land on their face. You're going to laugh because it's, it's funny, but if it happens to you, you ain't going to laugh. Well, I'd laugh at myself because I'm self-deprecating. But, you know, when when the shoe's on the other foot, it's not nice. But again, we probably dodged the bullet with this one. So I think we need to calm down a little bit, right? In fact, we need to calm down a lot. It's done now, okay? We've become a little bit of a meme. We have, especially with this podcast. But I'll say it again. Shout out to the people that made the decision to say, go fuck yourself. Shout out to them. Because they've, inv- Take no they've, they've planned on investing a lot of money on this guy. They've planned on taking a gamble with this guy. And fortunately, fortunately, they haven't officially signed him, shown him in front of everyone. And then after a week, he says, oh, fuck this shit. I ain't going to turn up to training. You know? Yeah. So we've got the bullet. On to the next. On to the next. And uh, Bubba. In fact, question for you guys, because I've been dominating, right? Yeah. Question. Do you guys believe now that Baba Stavro has seen this as a slap in the face, seen how people are going to be mocking, see how people are reacting and say, all right, I'm going to fucking show you how it's done. And he's going to go balls deep and bring in a player that people are going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? Petro, you want to? Pesi, bro. Listen. Baba Stavro is not that type of guy who would take shit, first of all. We saw it uh, la- last year, what he did with the uh, last B, with the whole last B drama. That he, he wouldn't bend over for anybody. And he didn't bend over right now. So I don't know if he's going to go like balls deep and go like, oh, I'm going to invest this and that on this guy, which he has to anyway. And it's sort of Bugatti and I'm getting free transfers. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit like, on the fences with that one. But I think he can spend it. He was already like into like investing into this player a lot of money, giving him 1.4 million. So why not invest it on another player who would cause wouldn't cause you the troubles that he would cause you? All. So it would make sense for him to go out there and splash the cash because we need to anyway. So I think he might. That's what I hope for. I think he will. Pedro? I think Uncle was already pissed off with the situation from last year. 
Εγώ νομίζω ότι ο Ασταύρου ξέρει να μου κάνει και δεν πρόκειται να δεχτεί την κατάσταση που έγινε μπέσει και στο επίπεδο που, που έπαιζαμε μπέσει. Όπως έγινε την πρώτη χρονιά που ήρθε ο άνθρωπος στην Κύπρο και πήγαμε τα χάγια και δεν μπήκαμε στη δεύτερη, ε, στη δεύτερη εξάδα για τον λόγο ότι ε, ε, έγινε να που γίνεται με την ανόρθωση και μείναμε εμείς στην Εξάδα και να μπορούμε καταλάβουμε πως μείναμε εμείς στην Εξάδα και το έφαμε τις πουλούς, δεν έκαναμε τίποτε. Το χρόνο μετά ήταν η ομάδα που έπιανε το προάθλημα, δεν με κοφτήν τα πολλά για κορονοϊό, για μένα είναι η ομόνια έπιανε το προάθλημα και ήταν να πιέει το τάπολ μάλιστα. Τον επόμενο χρόνο έπιανε το, το προάθλημα κανονικά και έκαμε κάποια λάθη στην τελευταία σεζόν που πέρασε. Αλλά νομίζω, τα... μην ξεχνάτε ότι τον πρώτο χρόνο ο Παπασταύρος δεν ξέρε να μπουν η μαπά, αλλά δεν το ζωή ως ο Μπέρκ. Ότι ο άνθρωπος δεν είναι της μαπάς, αλλά μαθαίνει. Αλλά δεν τον Μπέρκ, πού τον πρώτο χρόνο ήταν το πράγμα. Να που γίνεται στον επόμενο χρόνο, για μένα δικαιώμαστε έναν τάπορ. Τον τρίτο χρόνο, πια με πρωτάθλημα, και κατά την άποψή μου, εχαρίσαμε το τάπολ. Γιατί μπορούσαμε να πιάνε το κύπελο, τέλο πάντων. Πέρσι έγιναν κάποιε κινήσει. Φέτο, sorry. Φέτο έγιναν κάποιε κινήσει, έγιναν λάθο. Εγώ πιστεύω ότι από τούτα τα λάθη και την αντίδραση που έγινε και στη θέση που τερμάτισε η ομόνια, πιστεύω ότι ο κύριο Παπασταυρού είδε τα τούτα τα πράγματα και νομίζω να τα εχώνεψε. Και το. Ότι εν νομίζω ότι διαχώνεψε, είδαμε ότι ήταν διαθέσιμο να δώσει ανάμιση εκατομμύριο για έναν παίχτη. Και πιστεύω η έκπληξη που να έχουν οι οπαδοί μα, όλοι οι ομονιάτε που είμαστε εμεί, δεν είναι η ομονιάτη που είναι αγαπά την ομάδα. Δεν είναι η ομονιάτη που θέλει να τα πάει καλά η ομάδα. Για να μην το θέω. Επομένω, πρέπει να ηρεμήσουμε όλοι. Και εγώ πιστεύω ο κύριο Παπασταύρο να κάνει την κίνηση και να έχουμε έναν παίχτη τη ίδια αξία ή ο καλύτερη. Ναι, εγώ συμφωνώ με αυτό. Υπάρχει κάτι που είπατε πριν από λίγο. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Και αυτό είναι από την ώρα που μου είπατε. Especially them lot, um, they've done very well with their signings. I, I can't um, fault them. I don't know how the fuck they're going to pay them, but they, they've done it. All, all jokes aside, they, they've done very, very well, very well. And uh, Bando, few... you, you want an answer about that? Yeah, go on. And then over three for those kilos, and I'll leave them kilos. You know. Very good. Who's it? Very good, vale. Oh, oh, you're not very good. <laughs> They're fucked. I, th- I think I think they've done well to bring in these players. And um, look, let, let's get it right. Yeah, if if we do get into, well, we're going to be in the only lose anyway, right? We're going to be in the the group stage, which ain't going to be a problem. So there's money coming in, so that should really widen the gap. Now we know that Addis and Buffo have got big money, but the thing is, they can't spend that money yet because they're not seeing. The, the bank balance, the incomings. Do you get what I'm saying? Unless yeah. Barco sell Valakari for, say, two million, for example, they can't spend two million. They can't do it. So which is why Addis, for example, this year was massive for them to get into the group stages because at least they could declare two or three million or four million, however much was coming in and say, right, in the summer or in January, we could spend that money because we've, we've made that. Do you get what I'm saying? And that way they can work around it. But until they reach the European stages, there's no way they can spend a million on players, or half a million, 600,000, whatever. They've got a budget and they're working on it. So which is why I'm, I keep saying it's vital for us to kick on and continue to get group stage football because that money will come in, which will then allow us to bring in big money, uh, big money signings, you know? Mm-hmm. But if we stagnate, And we rely on loans and free transfers that, yeah. all right, will do well temporarily and paper over the cracks. It ain't going to be sustainable. And eventually we're going to start Buffalo. falling behind. And the likes of Buffalo are going to get yeah. into the, uh, the Europa League or the Conference League. 
might even get champions. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. And then that way, they'll be able to spend the fucking peas, and then we're going to be sitting on our fucking hands with our fingers up our asses. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Because we've been in the group stages already, like, twice. Now, this is the third time. Mm. And, yeah, don't expect all of that money to go on players, but at least half of that money spend it at least on big big signings, for example, last season and this season as well. well bro, Already known from, for this season and we'll see in January what's going to happen as yeah. well. But bro, it's like I said, you know, it, it, we can't turn around and say there's no money because yeah. the, this one particular player was proof alone that they are willing to put their hands in their pockets. So no one, not a fan, not a, a player, not a manager, not a, a board member can say there is no money to spend. Because this is Exhibit A. This is Exhibit A. There's no arguments. There's no denying it. Can anyone mm. stand up and say, there still is no money to spend when they're willing to dip their hands in their pockets. They're willing to dip their hands in their pockets to bring in a player, forget his behaviour, to bring in a quality player known for that he would have done really well in this league. So if another mm. player becomes available, yeah, that's just as good, if not better, I'm pretty sure they're going to spend their money on that one because... They know it's going to make a difference. Yep. They have to. They have to. And they already showed that they can't. So now we're just waiting for the next signing. Con 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 managing, Connor's managing Buffalo and football manager. Uh, bro, you'll, you'll be lucky to get a thousand fans. Yeah. So <laughs> try to try win some games. Hopefully, one of your players won't go on strike and not play for a year. You know, and end up at a bottle on, you know, you know, try, try, try not to get sacked after three months. You know, anyway, there you go. Two times group stages, all that money for season tickets, privilege cards and all those things. We didn't get quality player. That will make a difference in front. And that's not good, man. Do you know what? Giancarlo's got a point here, which I wanted to make and I completely forgot about it. Right. And it goes back to what I said the other day on the pod. You can throw in our faces, we've got X amount of privileged card holders, X amount of season ticket holders. But unless you're backing that up by putting your hands in your pocket and bringing in the players to get more people in the stadium, it ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to sit right with many fans. It's almost as if you're throwing it back in our faces. But as I said again, and I repeat, this has proven that they're willing to put their hands in their pockets to bring in the right player, the right player. Not just any player, the right player. Do you remember how many months ago I I spoke to you about uh, about this? Ray, we're talking. Hang about before hang about. the end of the last year season. Yeah, no, no I it told was, you this. It, it was. I'll tell you when it was. It's February. Actually, was. Telina me this video film with three thousand likes, face reveal. <laughs> three thousand subscribers. Sorry, face reveal. Still tomorrow. Right. What's up? podcast be what what pod tomorrow or oh, you mean this one yeah because whenever whenever we do a live through Streamyard, it takes about 12 hours to come up so what i'm gonna do on facebook and on the insta stories i'm gonna put the actual link to this pod and then that way you can tap into it so if you're not following me or Stefano, there's our ads my instagram yeah there you go yeah. oh we have we have sodiri here sodiri let's see what team he supports Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. guys. Good evening. <laughs> yes, good evening. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hello. W welcome to the podcast, Phil. How can we help you? Or how can you help us? Help us, please. Very much, thank you. I joined now. Um, I'm a massive Ammonia fan, <laughs> guys. Uh, I have a season ticket. I am 16 years old. Bravo, it's Odiri Moyo, but to the man, to Stefano. Ade, ade, ade. We have adult permission to come on this podcast. Es que escuba en bulomus to yibedo. No, 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 but I, I'm sure that my parents won't uh, will be okay with this. But to continue, uh, I have a season ticket since I was eight. Uh, I have been with the team uh, for uh, several trips to... Uh, Europe Games, uh, uh, but the best of all was uh, Antwerp last year. Uh, it uh, 
although we the away fans weren't allowed to enter the stadium, we found the way to enter, and uh, despite not getting the uh, uh, to qualify or to the Europa League uh, group stages, it was an amazing uh, I, experience. So, guys, uh, I, I joined now, so I don't know what did you chat uh, the past uh, the past hour. So, you, you my, tell, tell us about your thoughts on Zaire. What What do you think? Are we going to bring another player in that's going to be worth as much, if not more? Um, I was telling you, um, I think that uh, Ze was, was is an amazing player and very talented player, one hundred percent. And when when the news coming out of the media that we we offered five hundred k for for this player, I was I was over the moon. Um, but when I was in the car while I saw that that uh, that new on the Colotum Banet. I was <laughs> I was under the weather, and I and I thought that it was our our fault. But after the announcement of our of our team, uh, I was I'm sure, and I was sure, and I'm sure now that. It was 100% Zez's fault, fault, and I think that we'll come back stronger, and this will be a, we'll have a positive aspect in the end. So, Diri, you're you're on school holidays now, ne? You you, you finish at least under that school, ne? Ne, ne, ne. Like, so you're probably getting a lot of your friends at Abuel Listes, and you know Abuel. Oh, well. Yes, yes, uh, yes. This, blah 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 blah. Listen, right. Here's one thing that we say in England. He who laughs last, laughs loudest and longest. Yeah? And um, it's, it, there's still plenty of time in this Barathiro to bring in players. Okay? And while we want them, Bara, we want them yesterday. It's like Amazon Prime. You, order, you have Amazon Prime. You order something. It comes today. It comes tomorrow. We want something yesterday. We order it now. We wanted it yesterday. That's why we've got microwaves. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's not no, no, no. oven anymore. Yeah? You know, ask Pedro back in his day when he was younger, he fucking used to have a bath in the fucking Avelin. You know, <laughs> he didn't have hot water back then. You know, he used to put the water in front. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So people are impatient and I'm impatient. You're impatient. Stefan is impatient. We're all impatient. We want what's best for the team. Yeah. And if it means bringing in the player on deadline day, it's for me, it's not a good thing. But at the same time, if they come good, then we can't complain, yeah? So, and that's it. We just need to be a little bit more patient. And if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? But... Uh, so, guys, I want to uh, ask you, uh, if you know, your opinion about Karim and Sarifad. Because the media said that uh, we, we may negotiate with him. Who? Karim and Sarifad, who was playing for Ike in Olympia. No, but I was in Ike. The Iranian striker. I've heard about that as well. Yeah, I don't, know mm-hmm. I don't, I don't yeah. think we're going to sign another striker. I don't think we're going to sign another striker. I think we're going to sign uh, an attacking midfielder, like a, a winger, and they got in a left back. Mm. I think, mm-hmm. yeah. I think those, those are the three positions that we're going to, we're going to be going for, but Look, we just need to stay positive. As I said before, the, the money is there. If they want to bring in a player that's good enough, then they're going to bring him in. I'll be very surprised if they don't bring in uh, an, another player or at least another another two. I'll be very surprised. Um, but, you know, time's ticking, as they say. When does the window close? For another month? Yes, until the 31st of August. You can sign no, no. any player you want. And then... Another man, another man, man, another man. I'm I, like I said, I'm not going to get stressed out about it. It is what it is. But today, obviously, was a kick in the balls. But things happen for a reason, isn't it? Yeah, come here. Yeah. Does who? What did I get? I mean, probably we can't pass the one. It's been a little August to be here. No, who? Is it? Or who is it? The Gates series to September. Oh yeah, sorry. Me don't understand. Me don't understand. 
A ti prin. Goste... A, prin, bravo, prin, prin. Ne. Prin ce? Da, în tebi duva vusi. Așa că, ne. Mișeu came right at the end from Turkey, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Ne. Asta de lăs. And he's still looking for a club as well. Fucking hell. Jesus. Anyway. Anyway. Σωτήρι, παίξαμε το όνομα του παίχτη που ανάφερες τον Απριλίο. Ο Ανσαριφάρτ. Μπού το Μαρόκο νομίζω. Ο Ιράν, Ιράν. Ιράν, 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 μπράβο, μπράβο, Ιράν. Ανσαριφάρτ, ναι. Ήταν καλός παίχτης, αλλά δεν ξέρω αν αυτόν για να... Τρανταξιό χρόνο. Hang about. He was at Nottingham Forest for a bit, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hang about, Olympiacos have got a new manager now, yeah? Yeah. Corteban, so, no, no. Yeah, he was at Huddersfield last season. Don't you know what I mean? Just the dogs? No, bravo. That's right. It was at yeah. Oxford for a bit, and Hermie was there for like five minutes, wasn't he? Um, <laughs> He, he did a good job in at Huddersfield, but he's gone to this Olympia Goss squad. And I know George put up a message a few days ago saying that maybe we're waiting for Olympia Goss to, to put some players out and say, right, we don't need this one anymore. You know, I mean, Lovena's name has been mentioned. Um, there's, there's, there's a possibility that he could be coming. Um, what about uh, Rangelovic? Do you think he could be on the, on the radar, the, the winner? 100%. An amazing player. Mm. Uh, well, they, well. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> how much? How much though? How much? Like half a mil? A mil? How much would he cost? Yeah, I mean, if you get like um, Lovera and Nim, I don't know, it would be around two million. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, in total for both of them, possibly. Yeah, I mean, Maxi will probably go for a million. What about Fortunis? Yeah. You take him? I don't know. No, Oi. Pass it first. He's a great, very good player. I like him, but bro, he's been injured for a year or something like that. Mm. Uh, still, I have yeah. just forwarded something to you on your WhatsApp. I want you to have a look at it and tell me your opinion. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I, I was told about this player two days ago, and I wasn't 100% sure. Έχει δύο εβδομάδε που ξέρω εγώ, αλλά λόγω τη κατάσταση δεν είναι τίποτα. Ξέρει ότι λαό σου άμα ξέρω εγώ τι είναι αυτό. Ναι, δεν ήθελα να πω κάτι, αλλά ξέρω ότι αυτό είναι αυτό. Και είναι άλλο που έχει περάσει λίγο χρόνο στην Τουρκία, δεν είναι. Νομίζω. Ναι, αλλά από ό,τι θυμάμαι από αυτόν στην Φραντζία, ήταν κάτι ιδιαίτερο. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to to I'm fucking using this iPad. It's falling over. Dora, Dora, me do. Me so transfer my kid. Did you see me see? Did you see me see? Togaron doze. Dora, me do. Comment to Mario with him. It's like me. You see your playoffs. Yeah. When he when he dived from the Lesiax. Yeah. Oh. I, I thought that uh, that game. If the if the if the if that. Uh, that would end nil nil in in Greece. I think that in Nicosia we will we would get the we will qualify. I didn't have VAR. That VAR fucking up. With a god man, Mr. Jesus. Burke, eleven at the back, park the bus, nil nil penalties. Fabiano the king. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Christ. There's a question here, El Arabi. <laughs> El Arabi, he's just signed a contract. He's just signed a new contract. There's no chance he, he's going to be leaving that club. No chance. Uh, unless he's going to Morocco. And I go to Donovan to Kadi Malinowski. Kadi at uh, uh, Karabag, I'd take him. Yeah. He signed uh, a new deal. 
Yes, until 2027. 2027. Yeah. Bro, we missed yeah, out. Yeah, Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, Constantino, what's this? Khalifa. Oh. What was? If you must. If you must. If we think. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Ah, I'm going to ask It's Roy. The iPhone. Alifa Kulibali, to Again, it's, it's just about waiting for the right opportunity. And, and the thing is, let me get this right, yeah? I highly doubt that there was option one or plan A and there's no plan B or plan C. I highly doubt that. Highly doubt that. So, you know, I expect another signing to come in. I said I expect three. Minimum two. So, yeah, I don't know. Three, yeah. Three. Uh, three. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, see, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I was thinking that as well, eh? I was thinking that as well. I was thinking that, yeah. I was thinking that as well. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> we, can, we can talk about it because it's past one o'clock in the morning in Cyprus, you know? But, mm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, Billy, is there anything else you want to talk about, brother? Um, um, I don't have something uh, special to my mind right now. If he's if he, if Instagram on it. Of course, I, I sent you a message. You sent me a message? Yes, uh, it, uh, as you see it on the screen, but there is a dot between the Sotiris and the... So, uh, Sotiris dot. Yes, yeah, Sotiris dot X and FS. X and FS. X and FS. Ah! Oh! Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay, yes, we've had a good one, yeah, sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 Jesus Christ, my bad, sorry, but yeah, anyway, what, what is this people getting caught in 4K, who's getting caught in, bro, honestly, like, you <laughs> are on stuff, you're on stuff, you're on stuff, that's all I have, you are on stuff, this is, let me tell you something about Mario, yeah, Mario. Well, uh, well, he's, he's a friend of mine, Marius. I know him since he was uh, four years old. I know him. Yes, is, is he alive? Really? Is because uh, I, I, this, motherfucker, this motherfucker, oh, when I came, was it last October, yeah? I bought him some stuff. I bought him a musca and uh, and he won a, a match day program, yeah? From Port Vale when Kiko was playing there. He won, yeah? Yeah, keep, keep talking, bitch. I got you now, yeah? I'm the one that pushed the buttons, yeah? So I was at the hotel, and I left the stuff at the hotel, and I said, this Mario guy is going to come and collect the stuff. And then he goes, oh, shit, I uh, can't go to that hotel. So I got that transferred to another hotel, which is near fucking uh, Finigues, right? And, and did he go? Did he collect them? Oh. And the thing is, for a, for a 17, 16-year-old, this boy's got the deepest voice in the whole fucking world. He's like Barry White. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go. I forgot, you know. I had to go to school. I'm a motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> this, right, it's not the money. It's not a problem. I don't give a shit because I can get him, get him for him again. It's not a problem. Everybody, I'm telling these people at the hotel, yeah, this kid is going to come, right? And all the girls at the hotel working there, even the cleaners are waiting for this handsome young man to come because, you know, maybe they haven't seen a young lad before and, uh, you know, break him in a little bit. <laughs> and he didn't show up. Hello, Will. 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 Ξέρεις με και ας πληρώθουμε με τη Χάρτς. Και εγώ, και εγώ, σκοτία. Μόνο και μόνο επειδή όλα είναι μισά τους. Μόνο και μόνο τους. Well, look. Να πολλά ωραία. I'm going, I'm going. If we get drawn against Hearts, I'm going. 
Ένα ταξιδάκι σκοτειάν τραβώ το. Ναι, 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 σίγουρα, σίγουρα. Ε, θέλω να πάω, Βελγιόν, μην προντάξει, να παίζουν αλλού ότι θα παίζουν κρέα, με τσόντσα. Να παίξουν... Ένα λεπτό, η Ουκρανέζικη ομάδα, η Δνήπρο, πού είναι να παίξει. Λογικά, να παίξουμε στην ίδια, ας πούμε ο Άρης Θεσσαλονίκης που έπαιξε με την Γκόμελ, που είναι πολύ λευκορωσία, αν έπαιξασαι και τα δυο μάτια στη Θεσσαλονίκη. Ναι, ναι. Δεν να παίξω κασιμή. Μπορεί. Μπορεί να είναι στο... Εμέ χαλά, εμέ χαλά το διδέα για να με ειλικρινείς. Το εύτερο μάτσο θα δεκλειώνει το θυρόν όμως. Το εύτερο μάτσο. Ναι, ναι, έτσι θα δικαιόμαστε, φανς. Ε, πάλι εμέ χαλά. Όπως είναι τα πράγματα τώρα που έγινε ασύ και με τα σημερινά δεδομένα, δεν με χαλά καθόλου να παίξω με την Νύπρο. Και ας με πάω. Νομίζω, σύμφωνα με τα δεδομένα έτσι όπως έγινα, ένα μία από τις ομάδες που να έχει παραπάνω τσάνς να περάσει στο Ευρώπα. Και η Ευρώπα έχει τρία ταξίδια να πάμε, δεν είναι και πάνω τώρα σκοτία. Anyway, right. So we've done an hour and eleven minutes. The, any, uh, the OG needs to return on the pod. Who? Who's that? Who's the, the OG? Oak. The Oak. The Oak. Not the OG, OG of the what? Oak. The OG of what? You, what? You're an, you're an original gangster, yeah. I've never you. seen you do gang signs in your life, motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Mario's trying to wind me up because Roy ain't here. I can't. No one else is here to wind me up. And Chris ain't here. Chris has just come back. He's come. Chris goes to me. I was on a boat. He goes. I was on a boat. What do you mean you're on a boat? I'm like, don't come here. What do you mean don't come here? I said don't come to England. You come to the, the borders. They're gonna send you back, motherfucker. He's <laughs> in Santorini. I was like, okay, you're on a boat. You're like a little freshy now. I said, hey, they're gonna think you're Albanian. Fucking hell, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Chris is gonna watch this tomorrow. He's gonna mess with you. You can't. You. Yes, because you tried to poison him with that gupa. He came with this gupa at a game, and he was puking up on the highway on the way back there. Ay, store, do moro, re, che mi yangi store, mi accendo sto ma huindo, re. Mana mono. Seriously, what did you put in that cuba? Come on, you can tell me, man. Ero Malaga, I bought it from WCB. How the fuck do I know what's in it? Could probably be a cat, I don't know. It's the wrong type of pussy, motherfucker. Right. Um <laughs> Anyway, we, we're going fucking downhill. So, Diddy, thank you for jumping on, brother. Hope to have thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, bro. Hope thank you. Come on time soon and show us your pretty little face. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. He's like, gone. fuck me. They've said too much. Too much <laughs> <swear away. Okay. laughs> gone. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. We've gone down to 38 views from 60-odd. That just shows you like how um, people start switching off when we start talking about rude stuff. But um, anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. What time is it in Cyprus? Is that call past one in the morning? Don't you look better? Don't you have work? Yeah, I think I've done. Yeah, you're. Anyway, thank you, boys, for jumping on. Really appreciate it. Pleasure, um, man. Always. I think uh, has it been good therapy for you guys? Has it been good? Has it been good for you? The yes. ending was the therapy. The beginning. It was a nice thing when we feel the money as much as we want. Jela lo kachies ibikrina. I didn't say anything. Please. Pasu buru mas tuasim. It's the Charlie's fault. Ωραία, φίλε. Απλά ελπίζω οι φίλοι ομονιάδε να καταλαβαίνουν ότι το να μην τα έχω με την ομάδα, δεν σημαίνει ότι έχω τα με τη διοίκηση, δεν σημαίνει ότι έχω τα με του οπαδού. Ρε, δεν είπε τίποτα. Δεν είπε τίποτα. Οκ, fair enough. It's true, though. Δεν είπε. 
Δια σημονή πες, τίποτε. Don't worry, darling, it's okay. It's okay. Εγώ πάντως, να πω τους φίλους, τους τούτους τους τριάντα πόσους που εμείνα, αν τα κάνουν σκατά η διοίκηση μας, να είστε σίγουροι, είπα το του Στέλ, ένα αυκό στο πότ και μισή ώρα να θα κλείσω το στόμα μου και να τους χρυσώσω που πάνω σκάτω. Αν τα κάνουν σκατά. Jesus Christ, honestly. And you know what, everyone's going to come to Omoni and News, their podcast, and they're going to say, these guys are so calm. And they're going to come back to us. You're like Tasmanian devils. All of us. Fucking Goss is going to say, fucking hell. They're coming up with us for some relaxation. I love Goss, that man. I don't want to finish seventh again, man. It's just simple. I don't want to see oh, it finished. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be a little bit more than να μην αγκαμίς, είστε δεύτερος και τουλάχιστον να έχεις και καμιά καλή πορεία στην Ευρώπη ή και να πιέσεις το κύπελο πάλι. Και πάλι να πιέσεις το πράθυμο. Μια καλή χρονιά που να διαθυμόμαστε τουλάχιστον. Να την έχουμε, σίγουρα να την έχουμε την καλή χρονιά. Και έχω και πολύ εμπιστηθεί του προπονητή. Όσο και δεν αρέσκει σε μερικούς, την καλή χρονιά δεν την έχουμε. Και όσο και αν η Ελλάδα σήμερα ορισμένη, τα οχτώ σιγιά σύζον τι και δεν πρόκειται να δουν μπροστά τους ούτε ζωγραφιστά. Εγώ είπα ότι η ομόνη ανάση εφτά και πιστεύω I'm close. Πώς ήταν τώρα, οχτώ σιγιά σύζον. Όχι, κάποιοι άλλοι έθελαν οχτώ. Ε, εγώ είπα, άμα είπαν κάποιοι άλλοι πως είναι να κάνουν οχτώ σιγιά σύζον, εγώ είπα η ομόνη να κάνει σέβεν σιγιά σύζον. Επεράσαμε τα έξι εκατό. Και με την επόμενη μεταγραφή να πάμε στις εξέμιση. Και ως που να κέψει ο προάθυμα να πάμε στις εφτάς και αγώσια. Ενάς είπα, κάπου και με... Να με φτάσουν τις δέκα. Όχι. Όχι. Μένει σε πάνω. Εφτά, εφτά είναι καλά. Εφτά είναι καλά. Εφτά είμαστε χάπη. Ναι. Καμιά ομάδα δεν μπορώ να κάνει εφτά. Καμιά. Καμιά. Right, other boys, let's wrap it up. Stefano, thank you for jumping on. Pedro, thank, thank you. you. Pleasure. And everyone, don't forget to like. Hit that like button so we get the likes up. Because if you... Okay, so, now. This is what's going to happen, right? Because I'm getting a little bit angry now, yeah? If you don't like this pod, if you're watching the pod now and you don't like it, you're going to help. That's it. If you're watching this pod now and you don't hit that like button, you're going to hell. Right? That's the first warning. Straight to hell. The, the, the next warning. In fact, I'm going to give you guys a, a warning in advance. Yeah? The next pod we do, if you don't like it and you watch it and you don't like it, when I come to Cyprus, if you have a pet, if it's a cat, I'm cutting their tail off. If it's oh, a dog, my God. Yeah, if you have a budgie... What I'm are you going to do? Yeah? I'll find out who's watching this pod and I'm going to violate your animals yeah no 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 that's no. <laughs> it's okay hey shut up we're gonna have peter on us <laughs> we're gonna get youtube sending me emails we're gonna take down this channel monetize <laughs> enough enough <laughs> you don't have a yeah. pet you don't have a pet listen i'll speak to your uncle and he'll do stuff to you don't worry about it don't worry about it I'll get your uncle on you, bruv. Don't worry about it. Had it. Too far? It's never too far, Commander Krang. Commander. What kind of commander are you? You get your soldiers in order, <laughs> motherfucker. Had it. That's it for our episode of the No Chop This Podcast. I'm joking. Don't report us. Yeah, please. I'm only joking. If you report Don't us, I'm going to find you. I'm going to cut your dogs. <laughs> I'm joking. Had it. Dogs test, test you like, subscribe, tell you. No, no. I'm going to do the ending. Come on. Beautiful. Pedro, can you beat that? No, it's his, uh, it's his uh, territory. <laughs> 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 <laughs>